Okay, you guys, I just pulled up to Target with Kensington. I have been trying to track down all of the basic necessities and things are literally sold out everywhere. I finally got some toilet paper that we needed um, because I called Target and asked them when their shipment was coming in and I came like first thing in the morning. So I'm hoping I have luck right now. Same thing, literally like rolled out of bed, <laughs> grabbed Kenzie and was like, let's go, we're going to Target. I'm hoping some things are restocked. We haven't been able to get um, hand sanitizer. I spent like 45 minutes the other day calling like Walgreens, Home Depot, Target, King Supers, like everywhere sold out everywhere finally got my hands on some lysol wipes but um and some lysol spray clorox wipes everything else has been um completely sold out so it has been insane um my biggest thing is just making sure i'm trying to get enough formula diapers wipes for the twins i've got lots of baby food lots of other food at home um we're gonna get some more snacks and stuff just in case the kids school just sent out an email the other day that they're extending spring break so the kids are going to be home for the next couple of weeks um so i'm just trying to be prepared um i am canceling like all of our activities like any dinner dates um socialization things um appointments and we're gonna stay home You gonna be my little helper? We're gonna get everything we need? Yeah. Why do you wanna walk? Here, let me make sure we clean this really, really good. All right, they're pretty much out of everything already. So we're trying to stock up on some drinks. I grabbed some more water. I need some Diet Coke or Coke Zero. They don't have any. All they have is calving free Diet Coke. Nobody wants that. What? Where's Diet Coke and Coke Zero? They have caffeine free left. There is some Gatorade, but they are running low, so I'm gonna grab some for the kids. All right, what else do we need, baby? What else do we need? Can you read from the list? Yogurt. Say they're running out of stuff, huh? Yogurt. So yogurt. crazy. Yogurt? yogurt? All right, let's go find some yogurt. Put those back there. Trying to obviously stock up on things that aren't gonna go bad really quickly. So we're gonna get some applesauce. I grabbed some of these. I grabbed some of these organic ones. Fruit cups are all out. Completely out of toilet paper, paper towels. Can you find your milk anywhere? They don't have it? No coconut milk? No Horizon milk? Oh my goodness. Nothing. All right, we just got done at Target. I did find a lot of um, food that won't go bad anytime soon for the kids, just lots of snacks. I got um, lots of like almond butter that we can put like on rice cakes, um, just lots of things that'll like fill them up but won't expire because I didn't want to get like a ton of bread and stuff like that that's just gonna go bad really quickly. Um, I got a lot of frozen fruit, frozen vegetables, um, stuff like that. I can show you guys kind of the things that I've been getting. Um, they did have wet wipes. What are they called? Wet, wet ones. And everyone's been out of absolutely everything. So I was able to get four packs of these they were limiting it to four per person um and this is the first time i've been able to find anything like that um got some water they were out of formula 
that I need. They were out of baby wipes that I need. Um, so I'm gonna go home and try to order some of that on Amazon. I'm not sure if they're completely sold out of it too. Um, Target was completely out of like any adult cold medicine or vitamins or anything like that. So I just pulled up to Whole Foods and I'm gonna get Nate and I just some backup cold medicine in case we were to need it um i got the kids like tylenol benadryl things like that in case they need it um so yeah i'm just trying to think of like any last minute things that we might need because i just don't want to have to keep running to the store the lady that was in front of me checking out um, told me that her brother just got back from Europe and he tested positive for the coronavirus and his mother got it. So she thinks that her brother gave it to his daughter that's little and then the mom watched the daughter because the daughter got just a little cold she said nothing bad but the mom started she said she's had a fever for like six days and a really bad cough sorry Nate's texting me um um so she was saying the mom has had a fever for six days and a really bad cough but she is on the mend, doing well, isn't at the hospital, so that's good. Um, because I feel like I haven't heard from anybody that's actually gotten the virus. Like you just hear from the media and everything with everything going on. So obviously people are expecting the worst. So I don't know, for me, it was just kind of nice hearing like, okay, her brother's doing well. He has flu-like flu -like symptoms, but he's not in the hospital. Her mother, which she's obviously worried about because she's older, um, but she said she's not having like any breathing problems or anything like that, just the fever and the cough, but she is doing better, so. Um, so yeah, obviously though, we wanna stay healthy and keep our distance from people. So I'm gonna run into Whole Foods and then I'm gonna be done for the day and anything else I need, I'm gonna try to order on Amazon. Are you my shopping buddy? Let's see, on to the next store. Come back here, babe. Let's get some strawberries. It looks like they just stocked up, thank goodness. So we're gonna get some strawberries. Do you want to put it in your cart? Yeah. All right. So we got to get some stuff. Whatever we can find. Oh gosh, I'm all paranoid when people cough and she coughed right behind me. All right, I'm going to get one of these to have on um, backup for Neat and I. And one of these cold calms. They're limiting it to two per person. Push it back over there. Good girl. Can you put that back? Thank you, ma'am. All right. I think we got what we needed. So we went to two stores and now we're done. You think we got everything? Yeah. Okay, we just got home. It is now 11 and we left at 7.30. So we went to Target and Whole Foods to try to get as much off of my list as possible. We got pretty much everything. They're of course still sold out of toilet paper, cleaning supplies, hand sanitizer, um, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I got. Okay, and this isn't everything. I've kind of been stocking up throughout the week, but this is just some stuff that um, I got today. I got plenty of lunch meat, cheese, um, crackers, since those don't go bad, pretzels. Um, I got some frozen corn dogs, frozen chicken nuggets. Um, I got like three packs of eggs. This is just one of them. This isn't everything. This is just stuff I've been getting out right now. Um, I got these, which are good, just like some cheese and um, roasted almonds. Hello, Hello are you helping me? Um, bananas, some Pop-Tarts. The kids love these. I got a few packs of these almond butter, um, granola cups, um, veggie straws, some goldfish. I got 
two of these iced coffee. No, this isn't everything. Yours are in there somewhere, baby. What? I got some white claws in case I needed some alcohol. Um, some yogurt. This is some of the mac and cheese and pastas I've been stocking up on this week. Um, I just got plenty of mac and cheese. The kids love um, Annie's. We got rice. I thought these were neat. These are new, like little um, like broccoli and cheese pasta. And then you can put like some chicken in there. Um, I got the kids just some like chicken noodle soup and different things. You helping unpack the rest of this stuff? Um, we got like some skinny pop, some chips, more pop tarts. What else did we get? I got one pack of diapers for the girls. I do have more. A big thing of oatmeal. Here's some more stuff um, that I've been getting, just like some turkey sausage, turkey patties, salami. Oh, thank you. Can you put your goldfish over there? Plenty of cheese, um, turkey dog, lots of chicken, um, breast slices. So yeah, we should be good with all of that. Okay, so for those of you that aren't able to get your hands on some hand sanitizer, I have had a lot of people message me saying that you can use alcohol and aloe to make your own hand sanitizer. Um, so when I was at Walgreens, they did have some in stock. So I did get um, some 70% alcohol and some after sun aloe vera lotion. All right, everything is basically put away. I think we're pretty stocked up for the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm gonna try to keep my whole family at home as much as possible unless we like are absolutely out of something and need to go to the store but i'm going to try to like order everything online that we can i just especially here in colorado the number for the coronavirus seems to be increasing very very quickly so i do think it's smart that all the social gatherings sports school everything is being canceled i'm hoping that everybody's staying home will help just really slow this down and that this will pass very, very quickly. Um, the main reason that I thought that I should make this video is because I started watching news article or started watching the news and reading articles and different things and I honestly started to panic. I started Googling like what should I stock up on, um, things the kids should do like while they're at home, just like ideas. And I just feel like if I'm searching for these things, other moms are searching for these things too, um, or women or men, everybody is searching for these things. So um, I just thought I would put out there kind of what I am doing to prepare me and my family with just getting medicine, things on hand in case of an emergency, um, diapers, wipes, <laughs> the twins are playing. Um, diapers wipes Tylenol my twins are teething um, and that's what's hard too <laughs> so many people are panicking and buying all these things and then people that really need them like for teething babies and stuff can't find it so it's really difficult but I did track down I think everything that I need um, so yeah just stay safe stay in your home wash your hands Cancel our, all your social gatherings. I just think it's really smart and we all need to really stick together so all of this will pass. And another important part of this I think is um, I'm just trying to keep things as normal as possible. My kids are four and almost seven and so they're old enough to kind of understand like why school get canceled? Why are we hanging out at home all the time? Um, so I just don't want to worry them. I want to try to stay as calm as possible. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm going to get the twins already. We're going to go for a walk. The kids are going to play outside. They've been doing sidewalk chalk and stuff. So um, I think this is honestly like a great time for our family to just spend some extra quality time together and just have fun um, and stay healthy and safe.